Hey, what's going on today, guys? JMW Films here. I've been getting a lot of requests over the past uh, couple, actually about a year, uh, when I first uploaded Trolling a CSGO Scammer. Um, I basically had a Steam skin called Metro for Steam, and so I've always gotten requests on, um, you know, how to do it. You know, people ask me what is my skin for Steam, and so I'm just gonna uh, make a demonstration for you guys so you know how to do it. I'm gonna go to Google. Type in Metro for Steam. It's gonna be the first thing, MetroSteam.com, and then hit the download button. The newest version usually is right here. Today it's 4.0.4, and so you're gonna get a zip file. Now, if you don't have WinRAR, I'll uh, put that in the description. But it helps. Uh, it's like a decompiler program. It basically opens like compiled uh, files, like you download over the internet. So here's like a bunch. These two things you do not need, so I'm just gonna delete them now. But um, yeah, so you might need to install this font too. There's a font inside the uh, folder that comes within um, Metro for Steam. It's a font called Sego UISL. Um, I'll, if you guys have questions, I can probably sh tell you how to do it. It's basically go to a Windows file on your um, local hard drive and you just basically put it in the fonts folder. It's pretty easy. But, so I'm just going to show you, you're going to need this folder right here. So I'm going to go straight to my desktop, put uh, Metro for Steam down there. Okay, and then so your next step is basically you want to, uh, whatever you use to navigate through your uh, hard drive, you want to open that. And then you want to find where your Steam is downloaded. So mine's on my local hard drive, which is my G drive. And then so in program files x86. And then I find Steam right here, and then I look for where is it? Skins, the Skins folder under Steam, and then you just drop the folder in. Yep. All right. Now, for the next step, once you have that in there, you want to uh, see if I can find it. Go to Settings, and then go to Interface, and then hit Metro for Steam. Because it should automatically uh, determine or detect if you put a new skin folder in there, and it should read it off. It's going to ask you: this setting will not take effect until you have restarted Steam. So you just hit Restart Steam, and here it is. This is the little Steam UI. It opens up. Looks pretty nice. And boom, there you have it. Metro for Steam. I hope I could have helped you guys. I've known. I've. Uh, I've been asked this a lot. I see comments on it usually on a daily basis on how to do it and I've always wanted to show you guys how to do it so I don't have to keep getting asked about it even though I probably will anyways but um, yeah so I hope I could have helped you guys today and uh, thank you for watching.